In this video, we're going to look at submitting zeros for past due assignments. This is something that you will want to do on a weekly basis so that students are aware of their most accurate grade. If you do not do this, then for past due assignments, um, zeros will not be calculated. It'll just have a blank in the grade center, and you're going to want to make sure that a zero is put in there. So what we need to do is go to your Pearson tool. So in Course Tools, go down to Pearson, and you're going to want to go to Gradebook, My Math Lab Gradebook. And up at the top, it'll say Manage Incompletes. So you'll want to click that. It's going to pull up a list of all of your assignments. Now, anything that's in red is going to be past due. So this is a course that has already ended for me, so all of the assignments are already past due but this would not be the case in your class. You would have some that are red that are past due and some that are still in blue that students are still working on. Um, what you will see on the right is the due date and you will also see numbers over here to the far right that indicate how many students have not completed those tasks. So it might say four or two or zero, but once you submit zeros for all of those students, now there is a result there. So that's why you see all zeros for me because I've already submitted zeros. But what you would want to do is just click on the assignments that you want to go in and so uh, put zeros in the gradebook. And you'll probably want to do this for all of your past due assignments. And then you'll scroll to the bottom and you'll see a submit button. And you would click submit. And then once that's done, then you will want to go back to your blackboard and remember that the grades don't sync all the time, it's just once an hour. So if you want those to sync right away, then you would want to go into your Grade Center, Full Grade Center, Manage, Pearson, and you'd want to do a refresh Pearson grades. Once that's done, then you would be able to go in and you would be able to see the zeros that you just submitted on the Pearson side. And you don't have to do that. Just remember the grades will refresh once an hour and those will go in and refresh and replace the dashes with zeros which will affect the averages for the students based on how many missing assignments they have.